I mean, I could do a 30 day cash close, but I would definitely be at a much more reduced price, probably like a million and a half. Yeah. Hi, I'm sorry. I was looking for the property owner of a building on Allison Way in Allentown. How are you doing? Good. What's this your reference to? Uh, so my, again, my name is Henry. I'm, I run a small private equity company and I was just curious if you'd be totally against selling the building here on Allison Way. Oh, I'm not totally against it. Okay. I mean, do you happen to have some type of number in mind that if you got it, you'd at least be open to it? To use the building for something else or are you using, looking for the tenant? So, I mean, look, in a perfect world, you know, if the tenant's looking to stay and we can keep the tenant there, that would be great. Or, you know, we could fill it with another tenant. You know, I'm not, I, we do not occupy our buildings. We, you know, probably similar to you. We rent. Uh, yeah. What are they currently paying? 16,500 a month. Yeah. Because they're not current. Got it. So okay. Well, I mean, is there a number that you feel like if you got it, you, you know, you'd be open to take, you know, having someone take it off your hands? Brokers involved on that uh, I mean, I have, you know, a team that would represent me on my side, but that would be on top of whatever I, I pay their commission. So it'd be on top of whatever you're looking to net. Okay. Okay. And the building's around, uh, let's see, 10,000 square feet. 10,000. Yeah. Would you be totally against the seller financing position? Well, that, that depends on how much down would you need me to put down? At least 50%. 50%. Got it. Do you have a mortgage on the property or is, are you free and clear? No. Okay. If you're open to having us reposition the asset before closing, I, I mean, we would be open to paying probably a more, you know, uh, a higher price similar to what you're looking for. But, you know, obviously based on the current performance of the asset, it would be tough to be at the $260 a foot range. I, I mean, if you, if you just, I mean, it just depends on what you want to do, right? I mean, if you wanted just to get it off, you know, a quick sale, I mean, I could do a 30 day cash close, but I would definitely be at a much more reduced price, but what would you look for 30 day cash close? Probably like a million and a half. Yeah, that could be low. Well, I'll touch what I paid for. That's I know you could ride it out. You know, it's just a matter of like, you know, also, I don't know what another tenant's going to pay. I mean, it's again, it's only 10,000 square feet. You know, someone's going to have to. The challenge is Kitty Academy is not exactly performing at high levels anywhere, you know? Overall, I'm saying as a company, I'm saying they're not exactly performing at super high levels right now. You know, listen, I'm not telling you to, you know, to, you know, sell it for less than you want, but I am saying that, look, you know, based on the current situation, I don't know if they're ever going to come back to a, a position where they're going to be super healthy financially again. You know, I mean, to be honest with you, you know, my goal would be to buy it and then buy them out of their lease, right? I'll just, I'll deal with it. You know what I mean? I'll, uh, I'll take it on. I'll buy them out of their lease and uh, I'll renovate the building, put a new tenant in. I'm sure there's a number that would probably be okay, you know, with them vacating. So I'm saying like, that's why I would need it for, you know, a price where I can also be comfortable financially to offer them a substantial amount of money to vacate. My goal is to have it back to full health by uh, uh, probably September 1st when the new school year starts. Your, your call comes right in the middle of this party. And, you know, it's interesting. But for the sake of being the four or five months and then being able to get a price for the building, a better price for the building than 1.5, I'm willing to wait for that. I don't have any debt. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, listen, I, I definitely, I don't blame you. I think that it's just a matter of how you'd like to position your um, your asset. My friend, part of my company owns 2 4 and seven, nine, and eleven. Allison. Oh, okay. you're the guy that's doing the the um whatever they're going. To, they're they're going to build modular units out there, correct? No, and Flex Industrial. Flex Industrial. Flex Industrial. Okay. Yeah. That's your company. No, it's my it's my partner. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what's the timing on that? We almost have full blown approvals. Uh, we should have full blown approvals in the next thirty days or so on one of the lots, and then probably two years to build it. I mean, like you know, it's going to take a while. You know, I don't know how it's how much it's gonna. We're probably gonna be looking at two years out, probably until full blown project, and I don't know how long it's gonna take the lease up, but it'll it'll be a little bit. Okay, so you you own two and four. Which other parcels you own? Seven, nine, and eleven. Obviously, we're familiar with the property, hence why we're looking at it. You know, and why I wanted to give you a call. Yeah. So I mean, look, you know, it, the, that's why we'd probably want to reposition the asset. You know, I don't know if it's best to be a Kitty Academy, at least in my opinion. Obviously, you know, to each its own. But um, based on what we're looking to do, I would, you know, probably rather reposition the asset and kind of uh, give Kitty Academy kind of like the benefit of the doubt and just get them out. Okay. So that portion of this conversation would have to be between you and them, meaning if, if you were going to buy them out of the place. No, I know that would be after closing, you know, or once I give you a non-refundable deposit, I can at least start having a conversation with that. You know, I, I'm, I'm well aware. I'd love for them to agree to it too, but no, I can make it nice and easy for you. You know, and I, I mean, if you're open to doing hypothetically, 
seller financing for 12 months just so I can reposition the asset in a way then I can refinance and put on a normal loan. Obviously, you know, buying a, a non-performing asset will be a little weird right now, but we'll put down 50%. We'll do that for like a year. Maybe we'll have an extension for six months if I need it. Just, you know, with financing today, we'll see how it goes. But something like that, I mean, I could, you know, again, 30-day cash close wouldn't really be an issue. Yeah. yeah. I mean, something close to market, I don't know, 6%. I'm not trying to kill you, you know, and I understand that, you know, and I appreciate the flexibility and, you know, I'd love to try to figure out some way that it could be a win-win for everybody. And uh, I just want, I just want to see the area thrive. Obviously, make sure that, you know, you walk away with a price that you're happy with. And I'm sure I have a number of properties I can send your way if you want to do a 1031. Oh, really? Depends on what you're looking for. I run a brokerage office as well. A couple dozen sales guys that we have, you know, a number of product or decent properties I can send your way, depending on what you're looking for. Okay. Up to you. I mean, obviously, you know, depending on what your tax basis would be, you know, obviously kind of swings your decision, I'm sure. Well, listen, it sounds like you just about have an idea of what you're planning to do. I'll shoot you a text to the phone number you gave me. And uh, yeah, I mean, look, I, I, you know, look, you give me something to consider, right? I mean, obviously I'd love to check out the property and, you know, make sure I'm still, I know what I'm buying, but why don't you take the, you know, next week or two, have some more conversations with the uh, other operators once they, you know, come in. And if that works out, maybe I'm also a buyer, but, you know, obviously, um, you know, with interest rates today, you know, the cap it's got to be pretty substantial, but we'll, we'll try to figure something out. Bob, I appreciate you a lot. Uh, again, my name's Henry. I'll shoot you a text in a little bit, okay? Okay, thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.